Hello, 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 beautiful people. So we're going to jump right in, guys, and see what message the Spirit has for you guys today. What do you need to know for your grace and highest good? What could either be going on with you or around you? This could be you, your person, someone close to you, okay, guys? Let's see what's going on. What you collectively need to know right now for your grace and highest good? Please do not try to force it and make it fit if it don't fit, okay, babies? Thank you. Remember the mother, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. That is what I need to know. We need to jump. So somebody been trying to keep something on the low. Somebody been trying to hide some type of secrets around you. There's some hidden information. Somebody trying to keep something on hush. They're not showing their hand right now. Um, and I feel like this could be two people. You won't tell, I won't tell. So there, there's somebody here. That was trying to keep something on the low. And I feel like they keep it on. It may make you angry. Um, with this rage here. Anger, temper, control, aggression. I'm about to fuck everything and everyone up. So something somebody could have found out something about somebody keeping some type of information on the low. And now they're angry and mad here. Let me press the camera for y'all a little bit. There we go. What's coming in? What is my collection need to know? Let's make keep it on the low. What's this anger? Clarify, keep it on the low. If somebody has become enlightened, they've gotten some type of truth, some type of secret has come out. Energy, enlightenment, universal consciousness, knowledge, higher awareness. I am connected to source. Somebody has found out the truth about somebody's secret. And now whoever this is whose secret has come out, they're mad. Yeah, they're mad because they have been caught. And they're trying to, to come in and apologize here. I'm sorry, regret, disappointed, despair, apologetic. Please forgive me. Yeah, because the truth that came out, this person's mask then fell off. Hidden agendas, not showing true self, disguised, hidden feelings, pretending. Yeah, there was somebody out here that was pretending. And they masked and came off. Whatever they were doing, whatever they were doing in the dark has come to light. Now, you could have found out this information. Somebody could have been doing something behind your back, okay? And the person is mad because you found out the truth, and you're not dealing with them no more. Now, they want to come in and tell you that they're sorry. They want to come in and give you the truth here. Spirit says, I can't make this shit up. Signs, messages, unknown forces, synchronicities, my cards don't lie. Yes. <laughs> Um, you could have been dealing with somebody. Psalms 23, Pharaoh's awakening. I prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Wolves in sheep's clothing. You could have been dealing with somebody that you thought was on your motherfucking team, babies. Okay? They've been keeping secrets behind your motherfucking back. You've been sleeping with the enemy? <laughs> or you got a friend around you that's an enemy, okay? Wolves in sheep's clothing. And you became hip to that. You found out the truth. And you possibly could have walked away from this person. But they're angry because you know the truth. They're angry because they know that you know that they're wolves and she's clothing. Yeah, spirits tell you I'm bringing you the motherfucking tea. This could have been somebody that you were married to. Somebody you were in, a, in connection with. Like I said, y'all were sleeping with the enemy. Um, The juice, spilling the beans, hidden truth, gossip, leaked information. Marry me, engagement. Proposal, commitment, union, eternal devotion. Yeah, this could have been somebody you were married to, somebody that you um, were in some type of commitment to. And now they want to come in and they want to apologize. They're, they're sorry because they were hiding behind a mask. They were not being honest and truthful here with you in this connection. Yeah, now they see you as the golden child, the chosen one, the privileged one, the superhero, the leader. Now they want to come in and marry you. After sneaking around behind your back. Yeah, now they're trying to get their, their their courage up to come in here. Ambition, free will, personal power, courageous. I'm able to say no or yes. For some of you guys, if you were dealing with somebody who was dealing with a third party, they've told the third party because they found out that this third party was a wolf in sheep's clothing. They've told the third party that they no longer want to be in this connection with them. Because they know this third party has been having some type of hidden agenda. Some type of mask they were not showing. 
and now this third party is angry and they're trying to come in and apologize to your person but i feel like if 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 this is a third party this person is getting their their confidence together to come back towards you here they've been enlightened and awakened to the to the situation here they were dealing with the wrong person yeah you're the golden child and they want to come in and marry the golden child so they're getting their ambition up they're getting their courage up to come towards you they want to apologize for choosing this sneaky link yeah whoever this third party was they don't like you they don't like you at all family and friends don't want me with you i'm confused and hurt yeah the family and friends didn't want you with want them with you yeah so they backstabbed this connection they backstabbed your person they had a hidden agenda and yet now your person has found out the fucking truth and now these family and friends these exes whoever these people are are trying to apologize because the truth has come out yeah so so these third parties didn't like you they didn't want your person with you okay your person was coming in trying to marry you they wanted the connection with you here and now the truth has come out about these karmic ass family and friends it's giving me baby mamas baby daddies from the past huh what's this yeah because this person was coming in to celebrate with you birthday parties weddings just because turn up time and they didn't they didn't want this to happen so they, they backstabbed you but the truth is coming out. Yeah, your ancestors stepped in and blocked these third parties from blocking this connection. This could be your person. This could be your soulmate, your twin. Okay, divine partner, life partner that was trying to come in towards you. And these third party people did everything they could to step in the middle of this connection. To block it. And your person has now got the truth. They have been enlightened to that the people that they've been hanging with, the people that they thought was really on their team, their family and their friends, you know what I'm saying? Really are they their enemies. And and these family and friends and baby moms, baby daddies are mad because the truth has come out. They're mad because this person is finna come towards you here. Because they're coming towards you to celebrate, coming towards you to have a better life here. No longer wanting to deal with these backstabbers, holds a smile on your face the whole time they want to take your place. Yeah, they realize that these people backstabbed them. Because they just didn't like you. Because they just didn't want them to come be with you. Yeah, they even put did magic. These people even used magic to block this connection. The magic holds spells, voodoo, hex, vex, black magic, a sacrifice to stop union. I'm here to destroy you. He, she thinks you're the witch, not me. The truth has came out. The masses came out. The juice, I'm spilling the motherfucking tea. This person has now found out that whoever these karmics are, family, friends, exes, baby mama, baby daddies, had no good intentions for them. And they did all this shit to stop them from moving forward to be happy in the connection. Yeah, this could have been a baby's mother, a baby's father, a life partner here. Romantic or close friend. Yeah. This is somebody that they were dealing with. An ex. Yeah, because this person had money issues. This person could have even been doing magic to stop or block your money. If your money been moving slow or something like that, or you've been having any time. Yeah, they, they did magic to stop your money, block your money here. They could have even been trying to block your, your person's money here. But this person was trying to hold on to these family members. These karmics were trying to hold on to your person because they were having money issues. Yeah, Spirit says, um, get your sage on, cleanse your sacred space, car, house, crystals, body, sage it down. Because these motherfuckers have been doing magic towards you. Yeah, this is a baby mama or a baby father. They tried to use the children as a distraction too. Okay, I don't have time. I have my kid or kids, daddy or mommy, spend more time with me. Not him or not. Not her or him. I'm your priority now. So, yeah, they try to throw the kids out there to use the kids as a distraction from this connection to keep them from coming towards you. Yeah, it was all about money, though. It was all about money. They did not want your person to come towards you because they were going to have a b abundance and success with you in a connection. Yep, and it was the karmic lover the whole time. This karmic ass, low negative energy, mental, physical, verbal abuse, toxic, unhealthy connection. And that relationship is over. The Reaper relationship is over. Endings, closure, no second chances, letting go, watch my exit. The relationship is done. No sex, no nothing. This is why they mad. Karmic angry. 